So it's gonna be some quick diagnosis, 06 E350, check engine light. It's got quite a few things going on here, but what I'm gonna focus on, uh, number two that I marked there is the air injection fault on the left and right banks. When you see both banks, you're looking for one common denominator for them, and that being the pump. So this is uh, all data's simplified diagram. You can see that uh, the relay is uh, relay R, and it then uh, powers fuse 61 that then travels to that air pump. Now I can look at the factory tool, and it calls that air pump M33. There's your fuse 61, it's a 40 amp, and then it travels 60, uh, which is also powered off that relay, is not on this car. But there's my relay, KR. That relay gets powered by a terminal 87 relay, also in that front SAM. So some quick diagnosis for you, because it's a little tough to find some information on where it's at, say all data. But this is gonna be the location for R, and if you pull it, you can see uh, the letter R. And then here's fuse 60, which is empty because it's not on this car, but there's 61. So I couldn't see that this fuse was blown, but I'm gonna put my relay in there, my jumper. And I'm gonna turn it on, use my test light. So now I'm hot on that side and dead on that side. So I took the cap off it so I could do that. But if you really look in there real good, this camera phone sucks but it's popped. So I replaced the fuse. Now it's it's triggered, and what we're looking for, I'm getting my rounds to the test limit. Just pull the connector back a little bit. I lose my round. Go back here, back here, okay. So there we go. It's got juice, it's dead though. Round is on this side. Now you could take a power probe and get it out of here. Pull it back like that. You can clamp the ground on that exposed terminal and then power probe from the bottom. But this pump is dead and that's what likely killed the fuse. So I'm gonna replace the relay, the fuse, and then the air pump call this one a day but I hope that helps somebody who's out here trying to diagnose that fault you need to know where the locations are sometimes it's ambiguous but there it is fuse 61 uh, relay R obviously this is not the relay we're going to use uh, that's my tester but there there's the relay four pin relay and so if you got it if you got a pop fuse look for that component to have been the source of that so had it worked it probably dragged or some other things probably going on with it but replace them all, fuse relay in the part, retest the, uh, the system. You can do that with either the factory tool or a scan tool like this. I'm not even gonna waste my time actuating it here. Um, I'm gonna replace the parts and go from there.